Hey everybody, welcome back to the Here to See channel. Have another here journal for you. Numbers chapter 15. Numbers, the record of the wilderness journey. The Here to See channel always focused on sharing pearls of wisdom, nuggets of knowledge, understanding the difficult, and instructions for a better life. We're reading through the entire book of Numbers in the Bible, a chapter at a time, doing a here journal on each chapter. Here journaling is a method that many find edifying to their personal relationship with the Lord. Check out replicate.org to learn more about here journaling. But now let's read and listen to Numbers chapter 15 in the New Living Translation from the YouVersion Bible app. And then I'll share my here journal with you. Chapter 15 Laws Concerning Offerings Then the Lord told Moses, Give the following instructions to the people of Israel. When you finally settle in the land I am giving you, you will offer special gifts as a pleasing aroma to the Lord. These gifts may take the form of a burnt offering, a sacrifice to fulfill a vow, a voluntary offering, or an offering at any of your annual festivals, and they may be taken from your herds of cattle or your flocks of sheep and goats. When you present these offerings, you must also give the Lord a grain offering of two quarts of choice flour mixed with one quart of olive oil. For each lamb offered as a burnt offering or a special sacrifice, you must also present one quart of wine as a liquid offering. If the sacrifice is a ram, give a grain offering of four quarts of choice flour mixed with a third of a gallon of olive oil, and give a third of a gallon of wine as a liquid offering. This will be a pleasing aroma to the Lord. When you present a young bull as a burnt offering, or as a sacrifice to fulfill a vow, or as a peace offering to the Lord, you must also give a grain offering of six quarts of choice flour mixed with two quarts of olive oil, and give two quarts of wine as a liquid offering. This will be a special gift, a pleasing aroma to the Lord. Each sacrifice of a bull, ram, lamb, or young goat should be prepared in this way. Follow these instructions with each offering you present. All of you native-born Israelites must follow these instructions when you offer a special gift as a pleasing aroma to the Lord. And if any foreigners visit you or live among you and want to present a special gift as a pleasing aroma to the Lord, they must follow these same procedures. Native-born Israelites and foreigners are equal before the Lord and are subject to the same decrees. This is a permanent law for you to be observed from generation to generation. The same instructions and regulations will apply both to you and to the foreigners living among you. Then the Lord said to Moses, Give the following instructions to the people of Israel. When you arrive in the land where I am taking you, and you eat the crops that grow there, you must set some aside as a sacred offering to the Lord. Present a cake from the first of the flour you grind, and set it aside as a sacred offering, as you do with the first grain from the threshing floor. Throughout the generations to come, you are to present a sacred offering to the Lord each year from the first of your ground flour. But suppose you unintentionally fail to carry out all these commands that the Lord has given you through Moses, and suppose your descendants in the future fail to do everything the Lord has commanded through Moses. If the mistake was made unintentionally and the community was unaware of it, the whole community must present a young bull for a burnt offering as a pleasing aroma to the Lord. It must be offered along with its prescribed grain offering and liquid offering and with one male goat for a sin offering. With it, the priest will purify the whole community of Israel, making them right with the Lord, and they will be forgiven. For it was an unintentional sin, and they have corrected it with their offerings to the Lord, the special gift and the sin offering. The whole community of Israel will be forgiven, including the foreigners living among you, for all the people were involved in the sin. If one individual commits an unintentional sin, the guilty person must bring a one-year-old female goat for a sin offering. The priest will sacrifice it to purify the guilty person before the Lord, and that person will be forgiven. These same instructions apply both to native-born Israelites and to the foreigners living among you. But those who brazenly violate the Lord's will, whether native-born Israelites or foreigners, have blasphemed the Lord, 
and they must be cut off from the community. Since they have treated the Lord's word with contempt and deliberately disobeyed his command, they must be completely cut off and suffer the punishment for their guilt. Penalty for Breaking the Sabbath One day, while the people of Israel were in the wilderness, they discovered a man gathering wood on the Sabbath day. The people who found him doing this took him before Moses, Aaron, and the rest of the community. They held him in custody because they did not know what to do with him. Then the Lord said to Moses, The man must be put to death. The whole community must stone him outside the camp. So the whole community took the man outside the camp and stoned him to death just as the Lord had commanded Moses. Tassels on Clothing Then the Lord said to Moses, Give the following instructions to the people of Israel. Throughout the generations to come, you must make tassels for the hems of your clothing and attach them with a blue cord. When you see the tassels, you will remember and obey all the commands of the Lord instead of following your own desires and defiling yourselves as you are prone to do. The tassels will help you remember that you must obey all my commands and be holy to your God. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt that I might be your God. I am the Lord, your God. And that was Numbers chapter 15 in the New Living Translation from the Version Bible app in the New Living Translation. Now, for my hair journal. First the highlight, Numbers chapter 15, verses 37 to 41. Verse 37, Then the Lord said to Moses, Give the following instructions to the people of Israel. Throughout the generations to come, you must make tassels for the hems of your clothing and attach them with a blue cord. When you see the tassels, you will remember and obey all the commands of the Lord instead of following your own desires and defiling yourselves as you are prone to do. The tassels will help you remember that you must obey all my commands and be holy to your God. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that I might be your God. I am the Lord your God. So, what's my explanation? God provided instruction to Moses for the people to wear tassels on the hems of their clothing to remind them to follow the Lord's will above their own. Because when they followed their own will, as they were prone to do, they would fall into sin. So, what's the application for us today? We too will fall into sin, as we are prone to do, when we are following our own will. God, through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, had provided the Holy Spirit to indwell us at all times. He will remind us and keep us on the Lord's path for our life when we are faithfully obedient to follow Him. Just as the people of Israel could forget to put on their garments with tassels, we too can be foolish to ignore the Holy Spirit and follow our own foolish, fleshly will into sin. Romans 8.14 For all who are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. John 14.26 But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. John 16, 13 When the Spirit of truth comes, He will guide you into all truth. For He will not speak on His own authority, but whatever He hears, He will speak. And He will declare to you the things that are to come. Galatians 5, 16 But I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. Roman 8.26 Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know what to pray for as we ought, but in the Spirit Himself intercedes for us 
with groanings too deep for words. Galatians 5.18 If you're led by the Spirit, you're not under the law. Romans 8.9 You, however, are not in the flesh but in the Spirit. If, in fact, the Spirit of God dwells in you, anyone who does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to Him. Romans 8, 5. For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on the things of the Spirit. Isaiah 30, 21. Your ears shall hear a word behind you, saying, this is the way, walk in it, when you turn to the right or when you turn to the left. Galatians 5.25 If we live by the Spirit, let us also keep in step with the Spirit. So, what's my response? Thank you, Lord, for my salvation, for you, Holy Spirit, who leads me into all truth. I seek to follow you faithfully and obediently. Lord, I pray for anyone that does not know you. May they find you and accept you as Lord and Savior. Amen. And now, how about you? Why don't you try here journaling? Highlight, explain, apply, respond. You will be so very glad you did. Won't you comment below and share your experiences with us? And if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, Read the Gospel of John chapter 3 to learn about His forgiveness. But uh, by all means, talk to God about it. He's waiting on you. Seek Him now.